Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. All right, it's October 3rd, and this is my exhaust. Bought a Veteran's exhaust, and it is so beautiful. A couple of heat muffs, help get some cabin heat in. I only wish I had an engine to stick it on. The only thing I am is the only thing that I do have to do to this um, is I still have to get my friend who does welding to weld a bung in so I can put my oxygen sensor behind the third cylinder. Except for that, it's good to go. Okay, a couple of things we're going to work on today. One, we're going to do a little paint experiment. So that little black ball of paint there, it's called Black 2.0, and Black 2.0 is the like the darkest pigmented black that you can buy. Actually, that's not true. There's black 3.0. Uh, but this stuff's pretty dark. So we're doing a couple of test samples uh, on primed and non-primed metal. The idea being that we use this paint on top of the glare shield because it is so black, right? You're not going to get any reflection at all. So we're trying it out on primed and unprimed metal. And we're also trying it pure and watered down because, you know, want to see which one has the best... Uh, you want know, to make sure there's no brush marks, good coverage, pigmentation, etc., etc. All right, outside of that, so what we're working on today is more of the landing gear, and we're actually finishing up the brake lines. So the brake lines we've got going through the main body, all that's happy. So now we're building just the last two lines that go from the landing gear brace down to the main wheels. Uh, a couple things about that. Uh, it is Behringer, so make sure that you have the proper NPT to AN fittings. Uh, Vance's brake system uses NPT, Behringer uses AN, and the landing gear braces, unfortunately, it's NPT, so you need an NPT to AN adapter. You can find them online, they're cheap. I think it's AN4, I believe it's an AN4 size. Uh, that and Behringer does tell you to cut 3.5 feet of cable, well, a brake line, for each one of those. And let me just go ahead and tell you, that's about a foot too long. Uh, don't quote me on the exact length of it being too long, because I did have to cut them down later, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So once the brake lines are made, they're attached by friction tape uh, to the back of the landing gear leg. So you're thinking, friction tape? What's friction tape? Basically, you can just use high-quality electrical tape. That's friction tape. Okay, let's see. Do we have any rants or updates or questions? Ooh, actually, I do have a small rant, and this will be a good one, uh, to Sober October. One of those hipster trends of taking a month and completely f***ing it, you know, kind of like No Shave November. You can just f*** right on off. Uh, there is no way I'm going to be able to make it through the next 30 days uh, without some wine. It's just it's just not going to be possible. This In 2020... Please. Healthy trends in this year just do not mix. I cannot imagine going sober for the next 30 days. Why? Well, I, I say sober. Look, it's not like I'm getting hammered every night, all right? But look, I love wine, okay? I'm going to borrow a famous quote. You know, I love airplanes, but I love wine more. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, okay, so back to a picture about the, the gear leg. So here you can see the gear leg actually attached. Sorry, I... I scooted away from it in the video too far. What's the one thing you notice, besides the blue painter's tape? Uh, the gigantic amount of excess down at the bottom that's wrapped around the thing. This is the length that Behringer told me to cut it. I've since learned that it is completely excessive, and we will cut that down later. Uh, but except for that, it, is, it does fit. So, All right. Um, have a good weekend, everyone. Have a nice, sober October. <laughs> Uh, talk to you later. See you soon.